Ho, ho, ho. Merry early Figmas. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be looking at the brand new WWE Reckon Slam and Stack forklift you guys we got a beastie boy you can launch them you can toss them and you can unbox them so if you guys do want to see this man come out of this box right now drop a like and also let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys would like for christmas man after all it is literally right around the corner and you got amazon right here pulling through this thing looks insane you guys look at this again if you guys want to see this come out of the box definitely drop a like and let seth rollins know that we have to burn it down right here with all of these accessories you guys you got breakaway freaking pieces you got ladders you got roman reigns you have the tribal chief going one-on-one -on -one against your boy Big E. Pretty exciting, you guys. Now that we've looked at the packaging, I say we go ahead and we let that beastie boy breathe. Come on, beastie. Here we have the playset out of the packaging. Now, we got to call this, you guys, the year of the beastie. We have gotten so many figures, so many things that leads to this man right here, Brock Lesnar. And we are going to talk about the figure that is included with this. Before we do, I want to talk about accessories because there is a lot to cover with this, you guys. So as you guys can see, you can get some extra pieces right there for your little backstage setup. Now, the cool part about this is the fact that once you do bash it across your opponent's head, this will actually break away. It's got breakaway features right there at the seam, and it also has ports right there if you were planning to put your figures on top of it. So if you want to get your boy Rollins right there, or if you just want to fly it out, grab your opponent. Hold on, I'm going to grab Brock Lesnar over here as the new challenger in the figgy match. And then, bam! Oh, he bashes it across his head. And then you got Rollins wondering why the hell this man just got bashed. Well, it's the Beastie Boy playset, man. That's what you got to cover this. So really nice that Mattel threw in some little accessories right there with it all. Now, the actual piece and the construction of the whole set is actually already put together. You don't got to mess around with it. You don't have to like even worry about like certain pieces being adjusted. It's everything. It's already set to go. And I actually had something right here, you guys. If you guys have been on the channel long enough. You know, we've tried to recreate literally every single play set, whether it's the limousine, whether it's the ambulance, the car, a forklift. This was the last piece. So it's nice to see that this piece right here is actually a lot better as far as like scale goes. So you got your traditional WWE Mattel figure. I do want to grab right here one of my ultimate editions and pour them in there because I'm sure most people that do end up getting this, they're not going to be messing around with the beastie. I'll show you Brock Lesnar, but at the end of the day, I wasn't able to do it with this. So the fact that we got that right here, that is beautiful. So as you can see, you got the chair right here, and then you got Beastie Boys like, hmm, should I go in there? Should the WHF fam drop a like in order for me to go in there? Of course man that's what they're gonna do and they're definitely gonna subscribe if they are stopping by right here to the channel for the first time and again turn on that notification bell because brock lesnar party you guys i'm telling you this is only the beginning start of it look at that so here we got your traditional figure and that fits right there perfectly brock lesnar sitting nice and flush you can actually squat him a little bit more if you do want him more flat but nonetheless you can see the clearance right there between the top of the head and the actual play set. So again, if you want to mess around, you totally can. Look at this. You can have the man holding the steering wheel. Drive around. Beep, beep. These wheels are functional too. If you guys are curious like how that all plays out. It is on four solid rubbers. The two front ones are actually to be upscaled as opposed to the two back ones. The back ones are definitely a little bit smaller. And you know what? It makes sense. It's front wheel drive. You want to get them Bernies in, you can definitely do so. You can see the little guardrail, little sticker design right there and the WWE logo, which is crazy because I believe just about every playset in the Wreck and Playset, they've given us like the little stickers to go ahead and put on there. Again, this one already taken care of you don't got to worry about any of that the front right here the lifting or the lifting mechanism you can see the whole chain work design so you can see the way that it comes up and it comes down and it is functional so again all you got to do is push it down i believe yeah so you slide it on there and then you can actually put some of your opponents on there and launch them so as you can guys can see right there you put your guy right here there's a little peg for it uh, on the bottom of the forklift piece there's a little tiny peg and you can go ahead and port seth rollins in there 
if you want to get the man launched. What I'm going to do, though, I don't want to go ahead and push him in all the way because if we are going to launch the man, I definitely see what, how far he's going to fly. Let's go ahead and make a target. Beastie Basic, if you don't mind, sir. Three. Hold on. You can't be knocking down yet, man. We're launching this opponent at you. Three, two, one. And just like that, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then at the very top, you can see the little adjuster piece right here the way that it does fold over so if you don't want it coming down you can go ahead and angle it back and this has got a whole tilting factor so this is actually the part where you can launch your whole figgy so you got multiple options whether you use the actual chain factor of it all or your hands and then if you want to bring it down all you got to do is push this forward and the whole mechanism goes up and down so really cool that it's actually functional and then the other thing that i want to talk about is that every single piece on this it's actually designed to be utilized in a street fight hardcore match which again i feel like this piece alongside with the semi would do an insane figgy match just think about it you guys right brock lesnar he comes in there and he says yo whf fam you guys gonna drop a like like yeah of course man so again top piece right here i'm gonna rip this off so you guys can see the headlight design and this piece right here again use it on your opponent get your boy rounds get the boy beastie and then challenge him he says yo did you bring my chicken nuggets no i didn't i forgot them in the refrigerator wrong answer sucker bam just like that you got your boy with the headlights all knocked out man so again this piece right here that you are seeing this is another like launching device that you can utilize in the match and then this top piece we're going to go ahead and rip it off so you guys can see the way that roman reigns is actually utilizing it right there so if you want to go ahead and get gangsta with it and turn it into a full uh, blown convertible you can definitely do so so here's the little top piece and i believe this piece also separates so if you want to bash away with this as well you can go ahead and do so so the front end right there it does meet together and you can see the seam the way that it is created so you just pull at it and these two pieces will come apart. Bring it back together. Really simple, really. This is truly designed for you to go ahead and utilize this as an actual functioning device right there in your whole setup. Now, this other piece, again, you can just continue with it. You just keep going with it. But at the end of the day, I want to show you the guts of it all. So at the bottom, you can see the gas pedal. You can see the brake pedal. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but you can definitely see towards the bottom. You even got a place for a cup holder that's right man if you brought your drink you don't gotta worry about staying dry because right there mattel they literally thought of it all <laughs> check out the dashboard too you guys so steering wheel it moves left it moves right it moves all the way around 360 degrees and then the backdrop piece right there those are the little buttons you gotta push man you gotta push the start you gotta push the ignition you gotta push the reverse if you want to go backwards and then if you want to go forwards well i'll tell you what you only got one damn option with it on the right side you can actually see the up arrow that does direct it and the down arrow that does pull it back as well as the lever so that's really cool so if you were actually planning on using this like as a little piece right there you're gonna be like taking shots right there from the inside and be like oh no he just hit the damn switch no brock lesnar oh right in the nuts <laughs> i'm telling you so many damn cool functioning features that you can really play out with this i believe that this piece right here should do real well if you guys were planning on recreating some of those insane moments and then as far as piecing it together all you got to do is go ahead and pour it into the little holes that it is located right there up top click it ticket and you don't got to worry about brock lesnar not joining you there right there on christmas perfect time of landing man i couldn't be happier to see this piece finally land right here and i gotta tell you as an overall playset i would consider this in the absolute must category think of all the different times we've seen brock lesnar bring this out actually not even brock himself but a whole bunch of people this has been used in so many situations whether it's attitude era whether it's ruthless aggression current as far as the basic figure again really not much to glamour about we've seen all the pieces here on prior figures i believe that even the ultimate edition did carry this head scan but nonetheless i'll go ahead and show it to you if you guys were picking up this playset for the figure whf why the hell would i pick up a playset for a damn basic fig again not a lot of people would do that but if you are that one person in the crowd let me know in the comments he's like yeah bro i still need a broad current i haven't gotten one and i feel like this playset will bring that nice little addition to it all man i gotta tell you basic figure yeah it's crap <laughs> there's no denying it and i feel like most people are going to be lining up for the playset as far as like a ranking as a set 
I got to tell you that at some point, Mattel, they need a level up to either A, throw in an elite, or B, just give us a damn ultimate, right? I mean, these play sets, they're already bringing quite a bit, but I'm pretty pleased to finally add this. I got to give this a 9.7, and I feel like that right there should fit as far as the backstage steam area. This piece right here, again, just pop it on there. Pop it all on there. Again, if you guys are stopping by for the first time, hit the subscribe button. And definitely, give me your thoughts. I would love to hear if this is something you plan on picking up, if you plan on holding off, or if it's just something that would look right there really nice in the backstage setup. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, what's up, Rollins? He's got you.